Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today is a super exciting day because I accomplished one of my 2022 goals already and that was to get chickens. And if you guys watched my goals for 2022, I said that I either wanted to get chickens or put plans into place to get chickens for next year. I try to find a good angle where you guys could see them. It just didn't, it just didn't work out. But don't worry, I'll show you the babies in a moment. But yeah, so background, I got them at Belmont Feed and Seed out here in Chicago. They have the baby chicks there. And then they also had like a baby chick starter kit that came with two different feeders, um, the two different feeders, a water and a heat lamp. I know there's a controversial opinions on heat lamps and the safety of them or not. So this guy comes with a giant clamp. So it's clamped onto my metal shelf. And then I don't know if you guys can see because of the sun, but I also have it zip tied to the shelf as well. So even if for some reason this clamp were to come undone, it's not gonna go anywhere because it's also zip tied to the shelf as well. Um, these guys were born on January 11th. So when I'm filming this, they are 10 days old. So they're almost two weeks old. I know they say that the temperature for the first few weeks should be between 90 and 100. But between the heat lamp and the space heater that I have back here in the sunroom during the winter, they seem to be pretty comfortable with the temperature. I know it's just important to just watch your chicks and see how they're handling it because if they're too hot, they're gonna be super spaced out from each other and not wanting to be touched. And then if they're too cold, they're gonna be piled on top of each other. So you kinda wanna make sure that they're at like a good distance from each other and they're not too hot, not too cold. It's kind of like Goldilocks where you want it to be just right. So I got four different breeds. I got four girls and they are the Issa Brown, the Buff Orpington, the Baird Rock or Baird Plymouth Rock and the Mystic Moran. And I love them. They're so cute and so sweet. And those are the options that the place that I went to had. And they also had the Americana chicken as well. But these are the four that I decided to go with. I really wanted a, a Dominique chicken because I was doing some research on chickens and I found out that Dominique chickens were a thing. And I was like, it's fate, like I have to get a Dominique chicken. So I didn't get her this time around, but next time for sure, I'm gonna get a Dominique chicken. So I got the Baird Plymouth Rock instead because they basically kind of look like the same chicken, except the combs that they have are different. But yeah, so I got those, pretty excited. I am still deciding on a coop for them. I have like three different options that I have to like pick between which one that I actually wanna get. I'm gonna order that soon because they're already gonna be two weeks old. And yeah, let's just meet the chickens, right? That's the important part. <laughs> All right, so these are the babies. I know it's kind of hard to see in here because the, the red light from the heat lamp, but these are the babies. And I swear, I just cleaned their water and their hay and they already pooped everywhere and got hay all in their water. Um, so for the yellow chicks, I'm not, I haven't mastered which one's which yet. So for the Mystic Moran, which is this one, and then the Baird Rock, which is this one, I know those two, but I can't tell which one's the Issa Brown and which one is the Buff Orpington. So if you guys have some chicken identification help, please let me know. But yeah, who wants to go first? No? Okay, I'll just pick one. Okay. Oh, you're okay. So this is one of them. This is my Mystic Moran. And she's very cute. Very cute, right? Yeah, you're so beautiful. I actually love their, their fur as babies. The black and white is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, bye-bye. Who wants to be next? Ooh. 
This one is, I don't know, it's either the Issa Brown or the Buff Orpian Tin. And she, the two yellow ones I've noticed do not like being held as much as the black ones do. I don't know if that's like a species thing or what. But okay, okay, go. There you go. All right, who's next? Come here. Come here. This one is my vocal one. She is very loud. Um, I'm sure now that I'm trying to show how loud she is, she's going to be quiet. Because that's usually what they do, right? Yeah. But usually she squawks very, very loud when she's being held. She doesn't like it, but... She's being pretty calm for the camera, which is nice. Ugh. And then, come here. And then this, oh, you're being loud now, huh? Yeah. This is the Bear Plymouth Rock chicken. So there she is in all her glory. She's very, very cute. Again, I just love the black and white. With the little fluffy feathers and it's crazy how much they've already grown i actually got these girls on tuesday monday or tuesday i think it was tuesday and it's only been a few days and i feel like they've already grown so much <laughs> so it's kind of crazy but yeah so this is their little hangout spot they got their food their water these little sticks that i was telling you guys about and i just got some pine shavings for the bottom of it, I've been changing them out every other day because if any of you guys have had your baby chickens before, you guys know they can get pretty gross pretty fast. Let me put you guys under the light. Sorry, I moved them for the... There you go. Um, so yeah, I have them back here in the sunroom with the plants and they seem to like it so far and that's it guys please let me know if you have any other questions that i didn't answer this was kind of just like a meet my chicks video and obviously we will have much more chicken updates in the future but for now these are my babies and I can't wait to share lots more chicken content with you guys this year. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.